Today, we're diving into a hands-on gardening adventure that will transform your outdoor space into a lush oasis. We'll be planting some powerhouse plants, aronia, yarrow, and various bulbs that will keep your garden thriving year-round. So, grab your gardening gloves, and let's get planting. Gardening isn't just a hobby, it's a lifestyle that brings you closer to nature, helps you unwind, and fills your surroundings with vibrant life. As we take on planting aronia, yarrow, and various bulbs, it's essential to understand the unique qualities each brings to the garden. From the edible berries of aronia to the pollinator-friendly blooms of yarrow and the stunning beauty of bulbs like tulips and daffodils, there's a lot to love about these plants. Today, we'll walk you through everything from choosing the right varieties and understanding the growing requirements to planting techniques and tips for maintenance. Why plant aronia, yarrow, and bulbs? Aronia, also known as chokeberry, is a fantastic addition to any garden. It's not only aesthetically pleasing with its glossy foliage and clusters of white flowers in spring, but also produces dark, nutritious berries that can be used in a variety of ways, from smoothies to jams. It's a resilient plant that can withstand different growing conditions, making it a perfect choice for beginners and seasoned gardeners alike. Yarrow, on the other hand, is a perennial herb that's known for its feathery foliage and flat-topped clusters of tiny flowers. It attracts beneficial insects, making it a superb plant for organic gardens. Plus, its drought tolerance makes it a hardy choice for those looking to create a low-maintenance garden space. Bulbs such as tulips, daffodils, crocuses, and alliums add seasonal interest with their stunning blooms. By planting bulbs that flower at different times, you can ensure a display of color from early spring to late summer. Bulbs are perfect for planting in beds, borders, and even containers, providing versatile options for all types of gardens. Choosing the right varieties, when selecting aronia, it's important to know there are a few species available, the most popular being aronia melanocarpa, black chokeberry, and Aronia arbutifolia, red chokeberry. Black chokeberries produce dark, nearly black berries, while red chokeberries offer a burst of bright red fruit. Both are high in antioxidants, but black chokeberry tends to be the preferred choice due to its richer flavor. For yarrow, there are numerous cultivars to choose from, including moonshine, with its lemon-yellow blooms, paprika, featuring bright red flowers, and the classic white flowering Achillea millifolium. Selecting a variety that fits your color scheme will enhance the overall design of your garden. When it comes to bulbs, you'll want to mix and match different types to create an extended bloom period. Early spring bloomers like crocuses will give way to mid-spring favorites like tulips and daffodils, followed by late spring and early summer bulbs such as alliums. Be sure to choose high-quality bulbs that are firm to the touch and free from mold or soft spots. Preparing the planting area. Before planting, it's important to prepare the soil. Aronia and yarrow thrive in well-drained soil, so if your garden tends to hold water, consider adding some compost or coarse sand to improve drainage. Bulbs also need well-drained soil to prevent rot, especially during winter. Start by clearing the planting area of any weeds or debris. For aronia, dig a hole that's about twice the size of the root ball, ensuring the soil around it is loose. For yarrow, you can prepare smaller holes since the root system isn't as extensive. When planting bulbs, depth is key. Most bulbs should be planted at a depth about three times the height of the bulb itself. For example, if you have a two-inch tall tulip bulb, plant it six inches deep. Space bulbs about two to three times their width apart to give them room to grow. Planting aronia. To plant aronia, start by gently removing the plant from its container, taking care not to damage the roots. Place the plant in the hole and fill it back in with soil, pressing down gently to remove any air pockets. Water thoroughly to help settle the soil around the roots. Aronia prefers full sun but can tolerate partial shade. 
It's relatively low maintenance once established, though mulching around the base can help retain moisture and suppress weeds. Prune it in late winter or early spring to maintain its shape and encourage healthy growth. Planting Yarrow Yarrow is a tough plant that doesn't need much fussing over. When planting, make sure the crown is just above the soil surface. This will prevent rot and ensure the plant thrives. Yarrow can tolerate poor soil, but adding some compost will boost its growth and flower production. After planting, water yarrow well, but be careful not to overwater, as this plant prefers dry conditions once it's established. Yarrow is known for spreading, so consider dividing it every few years to prevent it from taking over your garden. Planting bulbs, bulbs are often planted in clusters for a natural look. When you're ready to plant, dig a hole to the appropriate depth, place the bulb pointed side up, and cover it with soil. Water the area gently but thoroughly. For a layered effect, you can plant different types of bulbs in the same hole. Place the largest bulbs, like tulips, at the deepest level, followed by smaller bulbs like crocuses closer to the surface. If you're planting in a container, make sure it has adequate drainage holes and use a potting mix designed for bulbs. Position the container in a sunny spot for the best results. Caring for your new plants, once you've planted aronia, yarrow, and the bulbs, you'll want to give them some TLC to ensure they thrive. For aronia, regular watering is important, especially during the first year. Once it's established, it can tolerate periods of drought. Fertilize in early spring with a balanced fertilizer to promote healthy growth. Yarrow doesn't require much fertilizing. Too much nitrogen can actually cause the plant to produce more foliage and fewer flowers. A light application of compost in the spring is usually sufficient. Deadheading spent flowers can encourage additional blooms. For bulbs, watering is most crucial during the growth period in spring. Once the flowers fade, allow the foliage to die back naturally. This process is essential as it helps the bulb store energy for the next season's bloom. Applying a layer of mulch in the fall will protect bulbs over winter and improve the soil as it breaks down. Troubleshooting common problems even the hardiest plants can encounter problems. Aronia may be affected by leaf spots or powdery mildew. To prevent fungal diseases, ensure good air circulation around the plant and avoid overhead watering. If you notice any issues, prune away the affected areas and treat with a fungicide if necessary. Yarrow rarely has serious pest issues, but aphids can sometimes be a problem. Introducing beneficial insects like ladybugs can help keep aphid populations in check. If the foliage starts to look leggy, it may be due to too much shade or over-fertilizing. During summer, keep an eye on moisture levels. Although aronia and yarrow are drought-tolerant, they will still benefit from occasional deep watering. By midsummer, deadheading yarrow can prolong its flowering period. As fall approaches, prepare for bulb planting. It's the perfect time to get those spring flowering bulbs in the ground. For aronia, autumn is a great time to apply mulch, which will help insulate the roots during winter. Yarrow may start to fade, so trim it back and consider dividing the clumps if it's becoming overcrowded. In winter, ensure your bulbs are well mulched, especially in colder regions. Aronia can handle freezing temperatures but keep an eye out for broken branches from heavy snow. Yarrow will go dormant, but leaving some stems can provide winter interest and shelter for beneficial insects.